Hello friends! In this video, we will compare the Bully Kata better than the Bull Mastiff. Let's jump on it. Temperament They are aggressive by instinct. Bully Kata's have the gait similar to that of a lion or tiger. They are intelligent and noble. With their strong sense of sight and smell, they make a good guard dog that would not just protect its own territory, but also the owner and his property. Whereas, Bull Mastiffs are gentle and affectionate with family members. Their generally calm, easygoing natures make them good dogs for families with reasonably well-behaved children. These dogs tend to be quite suspicious of people outside the family. He also may be less tolerant of a family's animal members than of its human members. Energy levels They are active and exuberant. Meeting their exercise needs can be a challenge. Most bully dogs need at least 45 minutes of exercise a day. Although many bully-type dogs enjoy the company of other dogs, some are intolerant of other dogs. Whereas, despite their size, the Bull Mastiff isn't a high-energy dog. A couple of short walks or playtimes a day will meet their needs. They are mellow enough to live comfortably in an apartment or condo as long as they get their daily outings. Intelligence Bully Kata is very intelligent and smart. So proper training and socialization at an early age can transform it into an ideal companion dog for you. And yes, a companion like Bully Kata will keep the predators away from you and your family. On the other hand, Bull Mastiffs are extremely intelligent and usually learn quickly during training. However, it is important for pet parents to train and socialize this breed early. Bull Mastiffs have lots of energy and grow to become very strong giant dogs that can easily knock people and children over if they lack training. Life Expectancy The Bully Kata is a working dog that originated from the Indian subcontinent, also known as Indian Mastiff or Alangu Mastiff. It's a large dog breed at about 29 to 33 inches tall. The lifespan of the Bully Kata is around 8 to 10 years. On the other hand, Bull Mastiffs are typically healthy dogs that live for 7 to 9 years. However, due to poor breeding, some Bull Mastiffs may have heart disease, eye issues, elbow dysplasia or hip dysplasia. Grooming needs The Bully Kata needs a low maintenance. It is an average shedder and has a short coat, needing minimal grooming. When required, brush them with a firm bristle brush to maintain the gloss of their coat. Baiting is not much required, just use a damp towel to remove the dirt. Clipping their coat is not recommended, since this might impact its regrowth. Instead, stripping is good for cleaning them, which means removing the dead hairs by hand. Trim their nails when too long. Whereas, the short smooth coat of a bull mastiff is essentially wash and wear. A quick daily and weekly brushing is all it takes to get the dead hairs out and reduce shedding. Bait your bull mastiff as you desire or only when he gets dirty. With the gentle dog shampoos available now, you can bait a bull mastiff weekly if you want without harming its coat. Keep the nails short and brush the teeth regularly for overall good health and fresh breath. Child friendly The bully cutter has a reputation of being an intelligent noble dog with a great personality. They can make a delightful companion for a strong experienced owner. It is important to stress the word experienced if you are considering this breed of dog. They can be a dangerous breed if not controlled and raised right. On the other hand, bull mastiffs are gentle and affectionate with family members. Their generally calm, easygoing nature make them good dogs for families with reasonably well-behaved children. Which will you choose? Let us know by commenting below. If I missed any information, let me know by commenting below. Thanks for watching this video. You are invited to watch more videos and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.